here with Coach uh, Bert Paddock. Uh, Coach, uh, a tough one tonight. 66 to 65 in the semifinals and a loss to Indiana Wesleyan. But you guys were down 15 at halftime. What a second half for you guys to get it within one. Yeah, I give our kids a lot of credit. They kept fighting. They've done it all year. We've uh, this year more than any. We've came back from second half de or halftime deficits and come back and won. And nothing surprised me. We didn't really even put anything in differently at halftime. It was more just the kids having a mindset of attacking the basket, getting quality shots, and uh, more than anything just defending. I thought we did a really good job that second half. Unfortunately, we let them get a little too far away in the first half. Didn't really get there. Yeah. Talk about Dominez Burnett. Uh, he was the national player of the year for the second year in a row. Well, yeah, he's fantastic. If not for him, we're not here. I've, I've said so many great things about him. I think the thing I love about him the most, those after the game tonight, he's in the locker room embracing everybody and telling them how much he appreciated them allowing him to get to this point and them carrying him and stuff. That's just kind of who he is. And he's grown so much and come so far that, you know, the awards he gets, all of them are earned. And, and, and nobody should have got it besides him. He's got another fantastic year for us. Um, you know, he struggled a little bit scoring the ball against this team in the past. Ten points last year, just yeah. seven this year. Yeah. Um, do you think someone like a Johnson, who's as tall, if not taller than him, kind of hinders him a little bit with trying to get to the basket? Well, you know, I don't know if it was – Johnson did a good job on him, but I think the one thing that they did a good job of is they just kept helping off of our least likely guy to score on the floor. They had two guys, a guy in front, a guy behind. We tried to post him up, couldn't get it in there. Come off the ball screen, they trap him. Whatever he did, he had two guys on him, and he had to get rid of him. I thought he did a really good job of sharing the ball. Unfortunately, in the first half, we just couldn't make shots that we normally make. We missed some chippies at the basket, missed the front end of some one-and-ones. Those go in, it's a different story. But I thought he did a great job of keeping a level head with about him and creating shots for other guys, which you have to do when you get double teamed. You know, Dominus fouls out with just under two minutes left, and you guys have the ball yeah. down one. Uh, what was kind of the, the play called in the huddle there? Uh, well, it was a ball screen for him. You know, we, we ran a set, didn't get it, threw it back out, went to a, uh, an offense we call 54. We have our best shooter set the ball screen. He comes off, and when he did, he tried to turn the corner. Kid stepped over in front of him. They called it a charge. I couldn't see if it was a blocker charge. Doesn't matter. Yeah. They called it, and he's out of the game. And, and when you're going to your last two minutes down two without your <laughs> national player of the year, it makes it a little difficult. Yeah. But I thought our kids really stayed focused there and gave us a chance there at the end. And how about the play of Kevin Rich in this tournament? Yeah. you got to be excited about him coming back as a senior with as well as he did in this tournament. Well, there's no doubt. He's played well all year long, and maybe he didn't get as many shots as maybe he needed to. He'll get a lot more next year, hopefully. <laughs> uh, he's got some things to work on in this game, and I thought he really did a good job in this tournament, driving the basketball, getting to the free throw line, doing some things that maybe he hadn't done all year long. Really excited with him coming back. We definitely have somebody to build around. And just talk once more about the special season. You tied the school record for wins. Yeah. You get to the finals, semifinals, again, just one point short, but you guys had a tremendous year. You know what? My wife and I were talking about it, and I think if you uh, – decide that your entire career as a player or a coach is defined by whether or not you win a national championship. I think you're really short in yourself. I mean, obviously, that was the end goal and everything. But uh, for us to get as far as we did, three Elite Eights in the last three years, two Final Fours in a row, really proud of our kids. They have absolutely nothing to hold their heads down about. We had a tremendous season, built a lot of great relationships within our program. And I think at the end of the day, that's really what's important. All right. Good luck next year.